Hello friends, welcome back. So, um, I did lie just a little bit. I did recently go to San Diego for my boyfriend's brother's wedding and that was really fun and we were there for like a week but i said i was going to do a travel vlog and i didn't i didn't i didn't end up filming anything while we were there because i just really wanted to be in the moment and spend time with family and with my boyfriend and just kind of hang out and not have to worry about filming editing all that stuff so so sorry there will be no travel vlog but today is Sunday and Sundays are kind of the days where I like to be lazy and chill out and just do the things that really fill my soul up. So lately I have been really trying to clean and organize and just get rid of clutter and whatnot. So I have been actually getting rid of a lot of books that I either know that I won't really read anytime soon or they just don't, like when I got them, I thought that it was something I would like, but now it's not, if that makes sense. Or like I'm getting rid of a lot, pretty much all of my hardcover books because I just, I don't like hardcovers and I really just don't think that I will pick them up and read them if they are hardcovers. So I'm trying to get rid of most of those and switch over to either paperbacks or like the Kindle version. So with all that said, today is going to be a book unhaul, book show shopping day and reading vlog and just kind of like a late not lazy because i'm being productive but it's more of just like a comforting sunday reading vlog i guess i don't really know what i'm gonna end up titling this but that's kind of what the gist of today is going to be and i really want to get a tea from Starbucks. So I think I'm gonna let myself do that when I'm at Barnes and Noble. Um, I have a very large stack of my hardback books right here that I am going to be getting rid of. I also took some books to half priced books yesterday and got some money from that and ended up getting two paperbacks from that. But I kind of wanted to go through the books that I'm unhauling today. The first one is You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen M. McManus. I, I still really, really want to read this book, but I ended up just getting the Kindle version um, through Libby, which is like your local library app. So I'm still going to read this. I still really want to read this. I just don't, I'm not going to read the hardback because it's a hardback and I just don't like them. The next one I'm getting rid of is The Only Survivors. I did also end up getting this one on Libby. So I still really, really want to read it. And that one is a newer release too. Um, it's a adult thriller. This next one I believe was released um, late last year. And that is The Family Game. I have been wanting to read this for a while and my mom actually read it and said that she really, really enjoyed it. So I got it on my Libby app as well. It's just more of like a winter read. So I think I might read it then. And then the next one that I'm unhauling is I Have Some Questions For You. This one is also a newer release. I believe I got the Kindle version of this one, but I also wanna get the paperback because it is a book that I think I'm I'm going to enjoy enough to have like the physical copy of. It's a, I think an adult thriller, but from what I've heard, it has more fiction vibes and it does thriller vibes. Like it's more fiction with some like thrilling elements, I guess I would say, but it also has like some podcast elements, which I really enjoy in books when it has like a podcast type of thing. The next one I am unhauling is Foul Lady Fortune. And this one I actually, this morning, bought the Kindle version of. That one, I think it's a, a young adult like fantasy. I believe it's set in the same world as These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, the same author. That one I've also been wanting to read for a while, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> Next one I'm unhauling is The Writing Retreat. And this one is another one that I really want to read in the winter time because it's kind of more like a wintry vibes book. But that one I also got um, the ebook e version on Libby. That or the audiobook. I can't remember if I got the audiobook or the 
ebook. But either way, I have it um, held in my Libby app. And the last one I have for today is The Lies I Tell. My mom actually also read this one as well and said that she really liked it. So that is one I'm very interested to start soon. I got that one on Libby as well. This one I believe is following like, um, it's got like some con artist elements. It's an adult thriller and one that I am very much looking forward to getting into at some point. So those are all the books that I'm unhauling today. And then I can't remember all the books that I unhauled yesterday, but altogether I've unhauled, I think around 20 books roughly. So I'm gonna take these two half price books today and then the money that I'm gonna get from these, I'm going to use at Barnes and Noble where I really want to get the last two books in the natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm currently reading this one. I'm about, I'm a little over halfway through and I love these books so much. I feel like they're just so fast paced, but they're not super dark and twisty and hard to read like adult thrillers are and I just really really enjoy a good YA like mystery thriller because it's fast-paced it's not super hard mentally to digest and they're really fun so yeah um it's almost one o'clock right now so I'm gonna go to half price books do that and then go to Barnes and Noble and I will see you when we start book shopping I got so lucky at Barnes and Noble. I went because I wanted to get the next and last two books in the natural series. So I went to the section and I saw that they only had the first, second and fourth books. So I was like, dang it, I'm probably gonna have to order the third one online, which like isn't a big deal, like whatever, I can do that, but I just wanted to get them both like at the same time. So like I was about to, well, I was looking around a little bit and then I was about to head out. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna ask because sometimes like they just haven't put them out yet or some people just put it back or, you know, some may, it might be floating around the store somewhere. So I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt to just go check. So. I went and I talked to the lady and I went to go check and she was like, yeah, I'll look around for a little bit. And then she ended up finding it on one of the book carts and it was the last one and the only one left and I was so happy. So now I have the third and fourth books. I did listen to the first book on audio like a couple months ago. So physically, I only have the second, third and fourth books and I'll probably get the physical first book eventually. I'm just not really in a rush right now because I already read it. So now I have pretty much the whole series except for the first one. After I finish this one, I'm probably going to hop into like a fantasy or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to read after this one, but I'll probably hop into the rest of the series uh, next month because I'm having a lot of fun and I want to get into them, but I also want to pace myself because I don't want the series to be over too quick. Cause that's what I did with the Folk of the Air. I literally read the whole series in like a week and I regret that so much because I love that series and I wish I would have like savored it instead of just binging the whole series. But it was so bingeable that I had to. But anyway, I got my tea, I got a little, like strawberry lemon bar. So I think I'm going to have some lunch, hang out, start reading this one, hopefully finish it today. And yeah, we're just gonna hang out. I also just redid my shelves. So I have this bookshelf and then I have another um, kind of like elongated bookshelf. I'll show you in a second, but I was having a hard time like remembering what I had and I had it like color coded kind of before and I really wanted something more like functional, I guess I would say. So I reorganized them into their genres. And I'm really happy about it because now I can actually see like how much of each genre I have. And then when I'm feeling like certain genre, I can kind of just go to that section and see like what I have of that genre. So I think it's gonna work out 
a lot better this way, but I wanted to show you guys what I did. So up top here is my like current TBR, just books I want to get to within the next couple weeks. And then this first shelf is my favorite series that I've already read. So I have the Good Girls Guide to Murder series. And then, I mean, Five Survive isn't like part of the series, but it's just, it's from the same author and it's one of my favorites. So I just wanted to kind of group them all together. And then we have, of course, the Folk of the Air series because it wouldn't be my favorite series bookshelf without it. And then I have the Inheritance Games trilogy. And then I also have the Finley Donovan trilogy. I believe there's going to be five books in this series, but I'm not 100% sure. And then moving down to the floor here, I have the Harry Potter series and and the Shatter Me series. And then down below on this bottom shelf, I just have all of my like nonfiction books and then a couple of my middle grade books that I just couldn't really fit anywhere in this main bookshelf. My nonfiction is mostly, actually no, it's pretty much all either nature writing or like Christian lifestyle writing. Some of the ones I'm really, really excited to get to are Gathering Moss and entangled life and then for like my nature writing and then for my christian like lifestyle i've been really wanting to get to find your people and um also another one of john mark comer's books i can't remember what it's called at the moment but after i read um the ruthless elimination of hurry i was just very very excited to pick up another one of his books because i love his writing and i felt very impacted by his book so i'm just really excited to go into his other books. And then we have the main bookshelf. I used to have an actual bookshelf that was like up and down, like the ladder one, if you guys remember that or not. You can probably go back into some of my older videos and see that. But my room is one that I share with my boyfriend. So I needed to make some room for him as well because I just, I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of hobbies and I felt really bad that I was kind of like taking over our room. So I've been trying to consolidate my stuff and just figure out ways to incorporate my books into like furniture that we already have. So we didn't have a TV stand for our room yet. So I got this one and just turned the TV stand into my bookshelf. It's a two in one. So I'm just gonna start on this left side. I actually just took out two of the books on this shelf to because they were hardbacks to go give to half price books so that's why there's a gap right here that i'm probably going to fill with uh paperback books but this is like my mystery thriller genre shelf eventually i would like to separate these books into like fun cozy mysteries and like actually intense thrillers because in my brain they're just like different and if I'm feeling something very fast paced, very dark and twisty, like I want a thriller, but if I'm feeling something kind of entertaining, mysterious, but also not too dark, I'm feeling like a mystery. So eventually I would like to separate those, but as for now, this is kind of what we're working with. I'll try to do like a close up of this stuff so you can actually see because I'm not going to go through each and every book because I feel like I did that in one of my not so recent videos but not so not recent videos. So here's everything that I have on the shelf. And then from here on I have fantasy books. This is obviously one of the most popular genres in my collection. The majority of what I read is either fantasy, YA, or like mystery thriller. So pretty much the entirety of my bookshelf is one of those three. These I did somewhat uh, organized by color because I, I really like organizing them by color because in my brain, like my, my color OCD just goes crazy if it's all just like mixed in together. So I wanted to do by genre and then by color. So here we have the red books, the white books, the blue books, and the black books because there doesn't seem to be any other colored book in the fantasy genre that I have. I'll do like a quick pano of these books because again, I don't really want to get into each one of my shelves, but this is what I have on my fantasy. And then down below, I have pretty much all of my, or I guess the rest of my hardbacks. Right now, all I have left is The Wishing Game, Ink Blood Sister Scribe, The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi, Thistlefoot, and Killers of a Certain Age. I had a really hard time parting with the books that I did today and yesterday because they are all books that I do really want to read. I just don't, I just don't want to read them enough to keep the paperback or to keep the hardbacks. But these ones, I feel like I want to read enough to keep the hardbacks until 
I can get the paperbacks. This is like one of my favorite sections because like I said, I just really, really enjoy YA mystery th thrillers because they're fast paced, they're entertaining, and they're not too dark and twisty for my brain to handle. So this is what I have on this shelf. These ones I actually wanted to put in my next little section because my next little bit is like a gothic area, I guess I would say. And this is Stalking Jack the Ripper and Hunting Prince Dracula. And those are both pretty like gothic fiction, I guess I would say. Which brings me to my next section, which is my just little gothic section right here. And then this is all like dystopian slash sci-fi-ish, more, more dystopian. But here's what I have right here. These are all just like more dark, like fall-ish type of books. And then of course I had to have all my modern day classics. Oh, hello. <laughs> so sweet, but so sassy. Oh, oh, big yawn. Anyway, so moving on to my last section. I'm just gonna lay on the floor because I feel like it's easier this way. But this is my like fiction area. It has some room. This is like my fiction and romance area because I don't have very many of either of those genres. And I think the colors are so pretty. It's all like very pastel and springy. But here's what I kind of have on this shelf. I'm most excited for Better Than The Movies and um, Practice Makes Perfect. And then these two, Remarkably, like, Remarkably Bright Creatures and Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so this is my bookshelf. This is pretty much where everything's at. I do have another one of these, but it's like a four square and it's right next to my bed. But that kind of just houses like the physical copies of the books I've already read that I did keep. And it just acts as my nightstand. <laughs> so there isn't anything too exciting there. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna finish reading Killer Instinct and I will update you with my thoughts as I go. I love Dean and Michael's relationship in this book because it's like a love hate i mean like for the majority of the time you think that they hate each other but then there's some areas where you can tell that michael like cares about dean i don't know i just i think it's funny and i think it's cute but it's also kind of heartbreaking i'm very much team dean i like michael but i i don't know i guess i just have a thing for fictional men who are very broken and have a lot of mental issues. Ah, uh, I have like a little bit more than a quarter left until I'm finished with this book. It's like four though. Today has gone by way too fast. I have a strong feeling that something is going to happen and it's gonna pick up a lot here in a little bit. It's kind of just like that suspense where you know, like it gets kind of slow before things like really get crazy. So that's kind of where I'm at, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Someone's mowing the yard outside right now. So if you can hear that, I sincerely apologize. <laughs> but last night I did finish Killer Instinct and oh my goodness, I love this series so much. You know though, in like a thriller series, well, actually I don't know of a lot of like thriller series. There's just so much that can happen before it like seems kind of unrealistic. Like in the first book, like something crazy happens. And in the second book, something crazy happens to the same person again. And like, and it's like, what's the third and fourth book going to entail before it's like, okay, this is a little bit unrealistic, but I had fun with it. I had a lot of fun with it. I really, really love the way that Jennifer Lynn Barnes writes her characters. There is not a single character, I don't think, that she's written that I don't like, unless they're supposed to be like an unlikable character. I don't really think there is many, if any. I ended up giving it a 4.75. I'm just, ugh, I'm so picky with my five star books. Like it has to be perfect. Like I have to be obsessed for it to be a five star book. And with this one, I was like almost there, but there was just a few things, like especially in the end, I was just getting a little bit confused because they started bringing up stuff about like her mom and I just didn't understand as much how that and like what happened in the ending was like related. So I wonder if they're going to like touch more on that in the third book, which I don't think that's a spoiler because I mean, you find out about her mom in the first book and it's not like a big secret. So I don't know, I was just a little bit confused about that. And then there was just some points in the book that seemed a little bit slower, but I don't know, throughout like 90% of the book, it was pretty fast paced. So yes, almost a five star, mm, but not quite. I don't know, I'm so picky and it really bothers me, but also I'm glad I'm picky because then when it's a five star, you know that it's like a really, really, really good book for me. I'm editing right now and I, I'm realizing that this poster 
is making me look like I have horns. This is a Red Hot Chili Peppers poster. It is not a scary, weird poster in my house. It's a band one that my boyfriend got a long time ago. I just feel like I needed to clear that up because it was looking really, really weird. But anyway, now I think I'm going to read The Hobbit. Um, I don't know though. I'm kind of in between The Hobbit and either The Stolen Heir or 10,000 Doors of January. I don't know. I'm being very, very indecisive about what I'm going to read next because I'm not like in a slump that I kind of have a book hangover from that book because it was just really good and I really really enjoyed it but I don't know I'm also just being really indecisive but I know that I really want to read like a fantasy right now and I've been really wanting to get into the Lord of the Rings series I don't know why I've just like all of a sudden had this weird urge to pick it up so I'm gonna start with this one I actually have three different versions of this book I have a Kindle version I have this version and then I have this like really pretty cloth hardback type of thing that's like a picture book almost. I would show it to you, but my, my roommate has it right now. So I'll probably honestly go just in between those three editions that I have because this one, I, I wouldn't mind reading this one like all the way through, but the words in my opinion are just like really small and the, like that's a lot of words for one page. And sometimes it's just a little bit intimidating. <laughs> like look at these words compared to these words. Like this is Killer Instinct and this is The Hobbit. I just, I feel like there's so many more words on this book. So we'll see kind of what I end up doing, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Let me know down below if there's any books that you're really enjoying right now that you think that I might like, cause I'm always, of course, looking for new book recommendations to add to my ever-growing TV. But I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.